What is the primary risk in a patient receiving TPA or alteplase? Bleeding. In a patient who has recently undergone surgery for a colectomy, what should the nurse do to prevent deep vein thrombosis? Use pneumatic compression stockings and encourage ambulation. A 63-year-old man presents complaining of an insect bite on his forearm that he noted after chopping wood yesterday. The area is mildly erythematous with a necrotic black center. What is the most likely diagnosis? Brown recluse spider bite. A 33-year-old female patient with mild abdominal pain and occasional diarrhea is diagnosed with ulcerative colitis. What is the initial treatment commonly used to treat this condition? Sulfasalazine. A 24-year-old female has a low-grade fever, fatigue, headache, joint pain, and a malar rash. What is the most likely diagnosis? Systemic lupus erythematosus. A 17-year-old male presents complaining of bloating, mid-abdominal cramps, and voluminous watery diarrhea after returning home from a camping trip. He does not observe blood in his stool. What organism is the most likely cause of the patient's symptoms? Giardia. What are some examples of lifestyle changes that a patient can make to reduce the symptoms of GERD? Avoid wearing constrictive clothing, especially around the waist. Limit late night snacks and carbonated drinks. And avoid laying down immediately after eating. To find the acronym GPATL. Gravida, term births, preterm births, abortions, living children. What two post-operative complications occur after meals in patients who have undergone gastric surgery? Postprandial hypoglycemia and dumping. What comorbidities are associated with severe illness and mortality in COVID-19 patients? Cancer, chronic kidney disease and renal failure, solid organ transplant. A 43-year-old male presents for his annual physical examination and is found to have a blood pressure of 201 over 95. He denies any other symptoms, but on physical exam, he has an abdominal brewery. What is his most likely diagnosis? Renovascular hypertension. What is the most likely cardiovascular abnormality associated with systemic lupus erythematosus? Pericarditis. A 51-year-old female complains of blushing on the central region of her face, noted after drinking alcohol and being out in the sunlight for prolonged periods. What treatment do you recommend initially? Topical metronidazole. A 13-year-old boy presents with a firm mass under his right areola. It is firm and mildly tender on examination. What do you recommend initially? Observation. What is Nagel's rule? Subtract three months and add seven days to the first day of the last menstrual period. Then add one year. Add seven days to the first day of the last menstrual period and count forward nine months. A method for calculating the date of delivery. A 28-year-old pregnant diabetic female comes in for her first prenatal visit. What is the major risk factor for the fetus if the mother's diabetes is poorly controlled during gestation? Macrosomia. A 43-year-old female with lymphoma is being treated with chemotherapy. However, she does not remember the name of the drug. She complains of palpitations and chest pain. What medication is the most likely cause of her symptoms? Doxorubicin. A 56-year-old male says he has had pain in his legs for two weeks. He was recently started on a new medication for high cholesterol. What drug may be causing his symptoms? 
simvastatin, or one of the statin drugs used to treat hyperlipidemia. The nurse is interviewing a 19-year-old female who reports abdominal cramping and occasional diarrhea. She denies fever. Her recent upper endoscopy and colonoscopy exam are normal. What is the most likely diagnosis? Irritable bowel syndrome. The nurse obtains a CBC on a 26-year-old female complaining of fatigue. Her CBC reveals anemia. What other studies will you order? Serum iron, ferritin, transferrin, and TIBC. A 36-year-old HIV-positive male undergoes a head CAT scan that shows two ring-enhancing lesions. What is the most likely diagnosis? Toxoplasmosis. What comorbidities are associated with severe illness and mortality in COVID-19 patients? Cancer, chronic kidney disease and renal failure, solid organ transplant. The nurse is admitting a 59-year-old male with temporal arteritis who is scheduled for a surgical procedure in the morning. What procedure will be performed? Temporal artery biopsy. The nurse is interviewing the parents of a neonate who is diagnosed with Tetralogy of Fallot. The infant is scheduled for surgery. What are the four abnormalities associated with TOF? Overriding aorta, ventricular septal defect, right ventricle outflow obstruction, and ventricular hypertrophy. What is the most likely cardiovascular abnormality associated with systemic lupus erythematosus? Pericarditis. The nurse is interviewing a 42-year-old female recently diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. She is on a sulfonylurea drug. What drug do you expect to see on the patient's chart? Gliburide, glipizide, and glimepiride are examples. A 24-year-old female has a low-grade fever, fatigue, headache, joint pain, and a malar rash. What is the most likely diagnosis? Systemic lupus erythematosus. The nurse is admitting a patient with a diabetic foot infection who is receiving vancomycin. What new medication would the nurse question if ordered for this patient? A. Propranolol. B. Ampicillin. C. Gentamicin. Or D. Fluconazole. C. Gentamicin. A 33-year-old female patient with mild abdominal pain and occasional diarrhea is diagnosed with ulcerative colitis. What is the initial treatment commonly used to treat this condition? Sulfasalazine. What two post-operative complications occur after meals in patients who have undergone gastric surgery? Postprandial hypoglycemia and dumping. A 17-year-old male presents complaining of bloating, mid-abdominal cramps, and voluminous, watery diarrhea after returning home from a camping trip. He does not observe blood in his stool. What organism is the most likely cause of the patient's symptoms? Giardia. What laboratory results should be monitored in patients who are being treated with vancomycin? A. Amylase. B. Creatinine, C. Lipase, or D. INR. B. Creatinine. A 43-year-old male presents for his annual physical examination and is found to have a blood pressure of 201 over 95. He denies any other symptoms, but on physical exam he has an abdominal brewery. What is his most likely diagnosis? Renovascular hypertension. Serum peak and trough levels should be monitored in patients with renal insufficiency when they are on which of the following antibiotics? A. Levofloxacin, B. Bactrim, C. Metronidazole, or D. Vancomycin. D. Vancomycin. 
Aminoglycoside should be used cautiously in patients who are taking which of the following antibiotics? A. Cefazolin B. Moxifloxacin C. Vancomycin or D. Clindamycin C. Vancomycin Vancomycin should be infused slowly to reduce the risk of what reaction? A. Nausea B. Diarrhea C. Dyspnea or D. Red Man Syndrome D. Red Man Syndrome The nurse is admitting a 54-year-old male who was started on ciprofloxacin six days ago for cellulitis. Today, he returns complaining of fever, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. The patient's stool sample is positive for C. difficile toxin. What medication do you expect the healthcare provider will prescribe? Metronidazole. The nurse is admitting a 32-year-old female who has prescribed metronidazole for bacterial vaginosis. What side effects will the nurse tell the patient that she may experience? GI upset, headache, dizziness, and rash. An 18-year-old male who has been taking metronidazole for four days has a low-grade fever and a rash with scattered patches of skin sloughing on his chest and arms. What is the most likely diagnosis? Stevens-Johnson syndrome. Thank you very much for watching this video and learning with QBank Pro Academy.